FreshBooks walkthrough, how to get started with FreshBooks accounting software. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with FreshBooks. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to freshbooks.com. It is an amazing tool that is specifically built for you to fulfill all of your accounting needs, especially if you are in a business and you're just starting up, then it's very essential that you have something that can help you with bookkeeping. You don't have to hire a separate accountant for that. You can do it all on FreshBooks. So let's get into it now to get started we are going to go on to freshbooks.com and the best part is is that whether you're an agency a small business a freelancer it has a business size and a industry type for you so you can really customize freshbooks accordingly so i'm going to click on try it for free on the top right and then from here, I can sign up with Google, Apple, or my email address. So I'm just going to confirm my sign up with Google. And the best part is you get a 30 day free trial and you can choose to cancel afterwards if you no longer require FreshBooks. So I'm just signing up over on FreshBooks over here and we're just gonna go on to next over here. Then you're gonna enter your company name and then you're gonna choose your industry. So for us, let's say we are in retail. So I'm just gonna look for retail over here. And then I will add it's launching soon. I want this to be a estimated value. And then after that, we have how long does it take to complete your services? So let's say it takes us less than a week. And then what do you currently use to build your customers? A pen and paper. And then after that, how customized is your offering? So it's more or less the same for our retail business. Now, if you're offering customized products, then you're gonna have variable pricing. So you want to add different or customized, but we're gonna click on save and finish over here. And just like that, our FreshBooks account has been created. So once our FreshBooks account has been created, we can get started with our next step where we will be going on ahead into FreshBooks and we will see on the left, we will have a panel. Now this is our toolbar or tool panel from where we can get started with for this particular business. Now, on one FreshBooks account, you can link multiple different businesses if you're running multiple different businesses. So to do that, you just click on the top left and then you can click on add another business and you can add a new business as well. Now on your dashboard, you're basically gonna get all of your data summarized. So all of your profits, your outstanding invoices, revenue stream, spending, on build time and more. On the left panel, you will see a option for clients. Now in your clients, you will be able to see how you are focusing on different segmentations. You can see money that your clients are bringing you, which are your high paying clients, which clients are generating you the most revenue stream and more. And you can just click on new client over here on the top right to get started with adding clients one by one. Now you can see, let's say I'll just add a random client over here, Allison Cole. And then, you know, you can add their phone number, you can add their email address. And on the right, you have your settings. So for a client, you can send reminders, you can charge late fees, you can also have invoice attachments as well as currency and language. So I'm just going to add that. Now, because I was not adding a phone number, I didn't add my client, but obviously for real clients, you will add their phone numbers. Now, after that, you will have your estimate section on the left panel. Now, from here, you can go on ahead and create a estimate of a service or of a product that you have. So you can click on create new and base a estimate or a proposal now. Both of these are different things. So uh, an estimate is just going to list the services and their rates. However, a proposal is going to actually show the customized uh, content or services or products that you're going to be creating with e-signature requests, as well as images, attachments, and more files. Usually proposals are for larger deals and larger business transactions that you're having with other businesses. And estimates are what you are going to just provide to your day-to-day -day client to uh, just show them the value that they would have to spend to get the results that they want. Now, 
if we want to create a basic estimate, usually estimates are the ones that you're going to be creating most often, you can just go on ahead and enter your product or your service. So let's say we have a t-shirt and then the rate of that t-shirt is, let's say it's um, $40. And then we have the quantity, then I can add another line and I can add jeans. Like this is like a very generic example, but let's say it's t-shirt and jeans like that. And you can see the subtotal, you can add a discount as well as taxes into the product. Now your taxes are going to vary depending on which state you are currently in, depending on the regular authorities of your country as well. So if you're in the UK, if you're in EU, and then it's going to be variable as well. Now, once you do that, you can click on save on the top right and you are going to select a client. So let's say I want to create a client, Allison Co. You know, you will have to provide more detail and then you can just estimate that for your particular client as well. Now, next up, you have invoices, payments, and expenses. So all three of these are pretty much interlinked because first off your payments are going to be given to your employees and then you have to manage your expenses and then you can generate invoices to make sure that your expenses are getting paid for so to get started with invoices you know you can just click on create your invoice and then just create the invoice that we just did and after that i like to go with expenses because usually those are larger expenses and you have to pay your utilities, all of that first. So you can go on ahead and add the particular type of expense that you have. So they have a bunch of different characterizations of expenses that you might potentially have. However, you can add your customized expenses as well. So if you want to add your own expense, you can just add, let's say for us, it might be premium cotton delivery like this and I can create this as a operating expense or a cost of goods sold. So you have two basic expense types. Now this links directly to the costs of producing your good or service that is required by a client or the operating service. So this is not directly related to the actual service that you're providing or the product however to make sure that your business is running and for operating your business it's a necessary cost now for us this is a cost of goods so i'm just going to add that and you can add your merchant over here and then add the rest of your details as well now on the left you also have projects time tracking and payroll now Having payments set up can be a bit difficult when you don't, you know, have this automated. However, if you are looking to automate a lot of that, you can go into payroll in FreshBooks and you can just get started with payroll on FreshBooks like so. And you have to pay extra to get this feature. However, I do think that it is a good investment to make for your business. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with FreshBooks. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.